Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here today, and so it's Monster Legends Guides video. I'm going to be telling you how to get a bunch of free mythics out of the current bounty hunt event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so if you guys didn't know, a brand new bounty hunt has started, and these are actually the best ways for you to get free monsters. And you can actually get a lot of really good mythics out of them really easily. So yeah, definitely make sure to participate in this event. So now let's go ahead and get into how you guys are going to do it. Alright, so the first thing you always need to do for a bounty hunt is pick a team of three a month monsters now these monsters are going to be attackers because you're going to want to do as much damage as possible so you can either do three attackers or if you have a support damage boost i highly recommend using one of those so either three attackers or two attackers and a damage boost you don't want to use anything else because of course you are just trying to do as much damage as possible nothing else really matters and then once you have a team you will go ahead and enter the bounty hunt and then you will be put on a little map and then you can see a bunch of shapes that you can click on now now you will be on this map with a bunch of other people and you will be competing against these people to do more damage to the bounty but first you actually have to find the bounty and it doesn't matter who finds the bounty you just gotta find it so whenever somebody clicks on a shape on the grid you will find a little arrow that will pop up and you can go and follow those to the bounty and you can also see the people on the grid's arrows not just your own. So yeah, you just keep on clicking on these shapes and you can get rewards when you click on the shapes too. You can get like cells, food, gyms, stuff like that. So it is definitely worth doing those. And you can only do like five every few hours. So yeah, just log on every once in a while to click on the shapes on the grid in order to find the bunny and get a bunch of rewards. Then when somebody finds the bounty, you can start using that stamina to go ahead and actually fight the bounty. And this is where the competing comes in because you want to do more damage than the enemies to the bounty. And by the enemies, I mean the other people on the grid. So yeah, get your attackers out, get your support out, and go and do as much damage as possible. And then once you beat the bounty, you will get a bunch of rewards. And you will get more rewards if you did more damage and if you reach those thresholds in its health. So yeah, definitely try to do as much damage as possible. And then once you beat the bounty, you will go ahead and get bounty coins and these coins can go ahead and be spent inside of the bounty shop for the mythics that you are trying to get and then once you go ahead and spend all your coins you beat the bounty everything like that you can go and do it again and just rinse and repeat and do the whole thing again and go and get more coins and then you can get more monsters and yeah you just go ahead and win yeah that is pretty much all you need to know about the bounty hunt let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be participating in this event and what monsters you are going to be trying to get and i'll see you in the next one remember to like share and subscribe goodbye